breaking news, a 12-year-old girl is stabbed. The girl was lured to the area by two of her classmates, who allegedly stabbed her 19 times. The girls had hoped the attack would earn them a home in Slender Man's mansion. Slender Man is a fictional horror character. We have been there for the journey. Two different mothers now visiting their daughters, locked up since they were 12. We try to visit at least once a week. On a good week, I can get out there two or three times. Anissa was actually sent to the Washington County Juvenile Detention Facility. Christy Wire, her daughter, is Anissa. Most children are only up there for an average of four months, and she's been there almost three years. Angie Geyser's daughter, Morgan, who came up with the plan and who held the knife. The children have no access to the outdoors or even windows to look out of. In the last 35 months, Anissa's maybe had 40 hours of fresh air. And there is no physical contact. I can't wipe away a tear. I can't give her a hug. I can't kiss her. Their daughters are now teenagers. Anissa is 16, Morgan is 15. They have spent countless hours driving to visit their daughters locked up, trying to wrap their heads around how their two little girls, just 12 years old at the time, could have done something so unimaginable. And all of it began that Friday night. What was the plan for that night? On Friday nights, Skateland had um, free pizza. So the girls went a little early and ate dinner and skated. And the third girl who was with them, Peyton Leitner, also just 12. Stacy and Joe Leitner remember their daughter had been looking forward to it for weeks. You remember how excited she was that Friday. Oh my gosh, she was so, so excited. Do you think Peyton had any idea? No, she had absolutely no idea. She was blindsided. Blindsided by what those two friends had in store, and they'd been planning it for months. After that night of skating, they would return to Morgan's house. Morgan's mother, Angie, downstairs. They played up in Morgan's bedroom with Morgan's dolls. I mean, it was just a normal night. And no sign that two were plotting against Peyton? No, no sign whatsoever. The next morning, Morgan asked if they could go to the park. How often would they go to the park? Well, we were actually, believe it or not, pretty strict parents and didn't let Morgan um, go out on her own very often. But you thought because she had her two friends, it would be safe. Mm -hmm. The first sign anything is wrong, a police officer showing up at Angie's door. And my heart dropped down into my stomach. Not only were there police in my living room, but they were um, wearing riot gear. Across town, officers are also arriving at Peyton's house. Around the side of the house, up over the deck, came a uniformed officer. The first thing that goes through my mind is, something has happened to somebody that I love. And they asked me, where's Morgan? I said, she's at the park with her friends. Angie Geyser says the police tell her that Morgan is missing. They think she may be hiding her daughter. They searched the house and I just kept asking, you know, what happened? What's going on? And they, they wouldn't tell me other than to say there had been an incident at the park and one of the girls was hurt. At first, police refusing to reveal which one of those girls was hurt. They quickly also tracked down the parents of the third friend, Anissa Wire, telling them their daughter is missing too. My thought was child abduction. Where's my daughter? That's the only thought I had in my head. It would take hours to piece together exactly what happened at that birthday sleepover. The first moment anyone would begin to learn of the horror is this call to 911. 911, I'm transferring over a caller on Big Bend. 12 year old Peyton Leitner had just crawled out of the woods covered in blood, stabbed 19 times. And you can hear it in their voices. The operators cannot believe what they are hearing. He came upon a 12 year old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? Correct. Greg Steinberg was riding his bike that morning on a path that had actually been chained off. It was pure chance he came this way. And you were biking by and she says to you what? Could you help me please? I've been stabbed multiple times. I quick got out my cell phone. I was shaken. He watches as the ambulance rushes her away. And when you looked at her, it was immediately apparent she'd been stabbed multiple times. Yeah, to her chest and abdomen and arm and leg. 
Doctors fear she might not survive, and her mother, Stacy, has just been told that Peyton has been rushed to the hospital. She was terrified. She was crying. She couldn't breathe. But she saw you there. She saw me, and she put her hand out, and I rushed over to her, and I put my arms around her, and I laid next to her, and I hugged her, and I said, you're going to be OK. It's going to be fine. But I could see that she was covered her arms and her legs and her abdomen, they were covered in stab wounds. There were so many stab wounds, it took two nurses to count them, 19 in all. And her little girl is now being raced down the hall. Did you say anything to Peyton as they were wheeling her away? That I loved her and that she would be OK. Peyton's mother could not believe that her daughter's friend could be capable of this. Morgan didn't do this, is what's going through my head. There's no way. There's no way that's that's what happened. Morgan is 12. Morgan has never hurt a fly. It was just unthinkable that Morgan would, would do anything to hurt someone else. But that's exactly what investigators were telling Morgan's mother, that her daughter and Anissa Wire had stabbed their friend multiple times. And now both girls were nowhere to be found. They had run away, and the police hadn't found them yet. They were going to find a mansion in the woods. Oh, the mansion, yeah, the mansion in the woods. They were going to the Nicolay Forest because they believed that there was a mansion there that Slenderman lived in. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.